Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to our monthly vlog. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. Um, it's just not feeling that good today. <laughs> but welcome on in. I figured I'd film my vlog a little bit early. It's currently the uh, 26th of November at the moment. So this will be up day one, hopefully, if I don't forget about it. Um, but welcome back you guys. I hope everyone's had a fantastic month. My month has been a little bit stressful. Um, but I'm gonna focus on the positives, because that's the only way to do it. <laughs> um, honestly, like, beyond the stress, this month has been very good for me. We finished a whole lot of games on the channel. I actually- <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I finished recording Yokai Watch last night. Um, everything's edited. I just- I'm gonna, like, upload it. It's three more episodes in total, so one on Thursday, and then the next Thursday, and the next Thursday, and it's done. It only took me, like, most of the year. <laughs> um, we also finished Pokemon uh, White, which is my very first playthrough of that game. Uh, last Monday, we finished Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories last Tuesday, which I hate that game. I'm happy to be over it. And we finished Luigi's Mansion 3, unfortunately, last Wednesday, and I love that game. Um, if you are on the fence about picking it up, definitely would recommend it. It is a fantastic game. They did it so well. Um, and I, I can't wait to go back and play it again because I'll probably be playing it next Halloween, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, and in terms of stuff that we have ongoing or upcoming, even yesterday we started, because it was Monday yesterday, we started uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, which is my favorite game of all time, ever. Point blank, Pokemon Animal Crossing, nothing comes close. It's somewhat close, but like, you know, Kingdom Hearts is just kind of my thing, you know? Um, we are starting Pokemon White 2 today on stream, of course not. It'll be in the past for you guys when this is uploaded, but right now, it's today. Uh, and then tomorrow on stream, we are going back to playing Mario Kart 8 with viewers, but we're also going to be playing some Captain Toad, which I'm very, very excited for because we started that game on stream, I think during like... It was during one of our celebration streams, like a really long time ago, and I didn't finish it. I just played it for that one day. And it's so cute, and it's not that long as well, so I want to finish that game. Um, what else? Besides that, obviously, <laughs> after finishing Luigi's Mansion 3, pretty much my entire life since then has been Pokemon Sword and Shield that came out recently. Uh, I got Pokemon Sword, I've been loving it, I'm not finished the game yet, I've been going incredibly slowly. Um, I'm also not playing it on stream, as you guys probably already know, but I will eventually be playing it on stream. I just want to get through... At the moment, white to X and Y, and then Sun and Moon, and then we'll be playing Sword and Shield. Um, and I don't really mind waiting a little bit. There's so many people on Twitch who are already playing it, and there were so many people in my streams or in my community who were avoiding it, right? Just because they didn't want to have spoilers, so it's it's understandable. Um, and I personally think I'm making the right decision by not streaming it so early. Um, so it's, it's going to be fun to play it through again with you guys. I know already this is probably it's not my favorite pokemon of all time but it's definitely up there um and i know not everyone agrees with me i know not everyone likes the game and that's entirely your opinion you are more than welcome to it as long as we don't shut each other's opinions down everything is good right um what else i think i'm gonna make this vlog a shorter one if you guys don't mind my voice is cutting out on me a little bit <laughs> um goals. Last month I had the goal of opening up a little bit more, expressing myself, trying to let others know what I'm thinking. And I think I've been doing that. I've been doing it a lot with my mods. Um, which I'm sorry, mods. <laughs> um, just letting them in on what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, and the next step is opening up more to my community, to my other friends, right? Um, but it's, it's a slow process, for sure. <laughs> um, so that's kind of going to be an ongoing goal. Um, my upcoming goal for the next, it's going to be month, month and a half maybe, is changing up my stream schedule. Um, there's reasoning behind this that I'll go into a little bit. I don't want to go into it too much because I don't really know what my, what my game plan is yet. But I want to start focusing a lot more on uh, my Twitch streaming. I want to... See, I don't want to say the schedule outright because I don't know whether it's going to be legitimate yet or not, but my idea at the moment, at the current time, which is not set in stone, is to do like a morning stream and an afternoon stream. So what that would mean was like maybe from 
10 a.m., let's say, EST until 1 p.m., uh, I'll be streaming maybe one game, maybe two games, who knows, and then I'll go on an hour break for lunch, come back at 2 p.m., which is my normal starting time at the moment, and then go, yeah, however long I want to go, um, and kind of do it that way. It would mean so much more uploading when it comes to YouTube. Um, but I already do a lot of that anyway, so it's not such a big deal. And, you know, some days there are days where I want to stream longer than like the four or five hours, but like I get hungry or I get tired. And I think having that break will help a lot. If I was to do that though, that would mean that I would be pulling in, let's say six to eight hour streams. And I would no longer be streaming absolutely every single day. It would probably be, you know, having a, a day off at the moment. Mike and I were talking about it and we think Friday is probably the day I'd end up taking off. So Stardew would probably be moved. I don't want to end it just yet. I'm not done with Stardew. <laughs> um, I'm not sure when this is starting. I'm not sure if it's starting. I'm not sure what I'm doing just yet. Um, the reasoning though behind working more on Twitch is you guys may have heard uh, about the new COPA, COPA, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, law, I think, coming into effect, or legislate, I don't even know. I'm not gonna explain it or go too much into it, because I don't think I can do it justice, I don't think I'm gonna explain it properly, I don't want to spread misinformation, but if you guys would like to find out more about it, I would encourage you very strongly to go and... You know, I think MatPat did a video on it, like there's a whole bunch of other YouTubers who have done much better and well-worded videos than I could ever do uh, on the subject. And essentially, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy other streamers or, sorry, YouTubers content who do video games, family-friendly video games in particular, um, or things such as cartoons, arts and crafts, stuff like that, these videos on YouTube are gonna start getting hit, <laughs> um, st probably starting January next year, I think. And I don't know if YouTube is going to be viable for me anymore, which is upsetting. I've been working on this channel for the better part of six years. <laughs> um, we have over a thousand uploads. You know, I upload pretty much daily at this point, even if it's a lot of it recently has been a lot of just like streams. Um, it might not be viable for me to do it anymore, but I'm going to not like be like, oh, I'm never doing it again. Like, not like that. Um, I'm gonna have to see. I'm still trying to work out my game plan, still trying to work out what I'm gonna do, uh, if there's a way I can work around everything or whatever, um, or even just playing it by ear. But in the meantime, because this is my full-time job, because I I do YouTube <laughs> and Twitch for a living, um, and it, it the mean in, at the moment it looks like YouTube may not be something I can do anymore. Um, I'm having to kind of go into panic mode and sort out my, my options for what I'm going to do. Um, you know, Twitch has been kind of my core focus for, for maybe the better part of this year, honestly. Uh, because I really enjoy streaming, I enjoy chatting with you guys, but I know not everyone can make it. That's why I've always, I've always uploaded the streams to YouTube and I've always still, you know, tried my best to reply to comments, that kind of stuff, and had that interaction with you guys here as well. Um... And it sucks, so that might be taken away. It really does. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do about it. Um, I was on a train of thought there and I kind of derailed myself. What was I saying? <laughs> um, right, so, you know, at the, at the current time, what I'll have is Twitch. If YouTube was to go completely under for me and I couldn't upload my videos anymore, I would just have Twitch, and I don't know if that is financially stable enough for me, so I might have to look into other things, whether it be a Patreon, which I don't know if I really want to do that, or, you know, cutting back on my stream time but getting a, a part-time job elsewhere, IRL, obviously. Um, so we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see how that how that goes. Um, little bit of the, That's a little bit of a peek inside my mind uh, within the last let's say 10 days of the month, it's been a little bit stressful. Um, but again, focusing on the positive, because that's the only way I can continue to move forward. Um, I'm going to hope that we don't get hit too hard or hit at all on YouTube, but I guess we'll have to see. Um, 
In the meantime, I'm still planning, like, everything is going to be absolutely normal. I have a new series I want to put up on YouTube uh, after Yokai Watch is done. Um, I don't know if I want to say what it is just yet, because my plan is to actually fully record every single episode before I start uploading, or at least more than half of them, so that I don't run into the situation I did with Yokai Watch where I bulk filmed and then suddenly I went to upload a video one one day, like a month later, and I realized I didn't have anything. Because um, that was really frustrating. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to say what it is just yet, but I will say it is something I've actually previously done on the channel. Stop doing, and I'm going to bring back. But I won't say what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much been my month. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here, I think. If you guys would like to follow me over on Twitter or Twitch, that's where I do, obviously, my live streams. Twitter, I pretty much purely post when I go live. Um, occasionally you'll get pictures of the cats, or Mike, <laughs> or me. Um, but most of the time it's when I go live, so if you guys want to follow me there, feel free. Um, Twitch is obviously free, you don't need to pay anything to get an account, you don't need to pay anything to follow. You do need to be 13 or older, though, to have an account on the website, please and thank you! <laughs> um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm sorry if this vlog has kind of been a little bit of a downer, but it's kind of where I'm at right now. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing uh, December. How is it already December? I usually say that at the beginning of the vlog, don't I? Um, Enjoy your holidays, no matter what it is you celebrate. Um, I hope you'll have a safe and happy end of year and New Year's. Um, and I guess the next time I post a vlog, it's probably going to be 2020, which is weird. Yep. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for being here. I hope you've had an amazing day. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, you guys.